John King USA, CNN, weeknights 7 Eastern. New report by the Surgeon General warns that occasional smoking, even secondhand smoke, every puff can cause serious illness. That raised new questions about whether President Obama has kicked the habit. This is not something that he's uh, proud of. He knows that uh, it's not good for him. He knows that it's, uh, he doesn't like it. Uh, he doesn't, and doesn't like children to know about it, obviously, including his. And I think he has, uh, I think he has worked extremely hard. But so this report really reinforced a lot of stuff that I think we already know. But I mean, when you read no evidence that light and low tar cigarettes are any better than regular cigarettes, 7,000 chemicals in cigarette smoke, it's uh, And so good for the president, good for the president for pushing them away, as Robert Gibbs said today. Mr. President, keep pushing them away. And Joe, you mentioned some of those statistics. Let's take a closer look. This is stunning when you look at it. I think cigarette smoking is horrible, and I think nobody, nobody should think about it. Look at this, look at this, 443,000 Americans. 443,000 Americans killed by tobacco each year. One in five deaths. 85% from lung cancer. Look at this. Look at this. You look at the deaths in America every year. Look at the percentage from lung cancer right there. Heart disease, 126,000. Pulmonary disease. It's just stunning. There is no reason to smoke. What's in a cigarette? Joe just told you right there. 7,000 chemicals and compounds in a cigarette. 70, 70 carcinogens. Some that can damage after just one cigarette. Here's your body right here. A red dot means smoking can cause cancer. He, at that spot. Yellow chronic disease. Take a peek at this. Take a peek at this. It destroys you. Period. Look at that right up there. So where do you go from there? The financial impact? This is stunning when you look at these numbers. Let's bring this up. $193 billion annually in health care costs and lost productivity that can be traced back to cigarette smoking. That's a frightening number right there. Now, if you're sitting at home saying, I shouldn't give up my cigarettes, let me clear that one, bring this one up. I've been at it too long. What's the difference? Why should I quit now? You're wrong. The new study says after just one day, if you quit after just one day, your blood pressure, pulse, and oxygen levels begin to normalize. Your heart attack risk starts going down. After a year, you're breathing better. Your circulation is better. Your heart disease risk even lower. Five years after you quit, your risk of stroke is reduced to that of a non-smoker. Ten years later, your lung cancer death rate cut in half risk of multiple cancers drops, and at 15 years after you quit the habit, heart disease risk drops to the level of a non-smoker. So Joe, anyone out there, family, friend, whatever, I have some people in my family, I just do not get it, quit. Quit tonight, quit tomorrow, quit now.